Hi guys and welcome to another ODM technical tutorial. Every now and again I like to set myself puzzles on ODM and what I mean by that is I go out onto the internet or somebody asks me a question and I look for opportunities where ODM might be able to get involved. So I did a search on the internet looking for rules and various other things that we might be able to turn into ODM solutions and I found a simple website from the UK government where there's an opportunity to claim child benefit and uh, if an applicant has one child they are eligible to claim 20 pounds and 70 pence a week and for each additional child they can claim an additional 13 pounds and 70 pence for each additional child well it occurred to me that these would be good rules because uh, I've got to assume that as the British Chancellor of the Exchequer changes the budget year on year or the government changes policy that the uh, rules relating to child benefit will change whether it's number of children or whether it's the amount paid those are not fixed so those are not things that we would want to imbue in code so I saw this puzzle I saw this uh, rule here and I asked myself what would it take to turn this into an ODM solution now if you're already ODM skilled this might be a great opportunity for you to pause the video here and go and uh, try and build it out uh, that's if you're ODM skilled and if you're not ODM skilled let's talk about how I made an attempt to solve it I'm not saying this is the best but this is what I came up with so when I looked at this, I immediately said that there's going to be some incoming data and the data will be an application and the application will contain how many children the applicant has and the outcome will be a benefit amount, uh, zero if they have no children. £20.70 if they have one child that's eligible and £13.70 uh, for each additional child assuming they have more than one child. So those are my quote-unquote English language description of the rules. So the goal was to translate that into ODM. So we start always in as an ODM, we always start by creating our input data, modeling our execution object model. And I created a very simple Java class, which is called an applicant. And the applicant has a property called children. And we have our getters and our setters and our children. Children is an integer amount. Uh, uh, we can't have uh, floating point children, I guess. Um, so we've got children. So once I had created this ZOM, I then created myself a, biz, a, a ODM project. I imported my ZOM into my ODM product project. I created a business object model from the ZOM. And now I was ready to start building out the rules. So I created a decision uh, service. And I called this decision service child benefit and I created some variables and the variables in my environment then became an applicant which was uh, the business object model representation of my applicant and the benefit which had an initial value of zero and of course that's a double to represent pounds and pence so with this set up in place I then started writing rules so the first rule was if the child applicant has at least one child so zero would not fire this rule one would two would three would four would etc so if the applicant has at least one child set the benefit to be the current benefit which is zero plus 20 pounds and 70 pence so for the first child we get 20 pounds and 70 pence for the additional children this becomes a little more interesting so for the additional children that is fired that rule is fired if the applicant has more than one child so this would this would not fire if they had zero this would not fire if they had one but it would fire for two three four five etc I defined a variable called additional children which is the number of the children of the applicant minus one because I define additional children to be the number of children more than the first child so if we had two children additional children would be one if we had three children additional children would be two and then if we have more than one child I set the benefit to be the current benefit plus the additional children times 
13 pounds and 70, se uh, 70 pence. And that matches my logic of my rule. So with these two rules in place, additional children and first child, I then deploy this to my rule execution server. And then in my rule execution server, I now have the opportunity to test it. So we'll go to my explorer, we'll go to my rules, we'll go to my uh, rule types, here we go. I'll retrieve the uh, ability to call it through the network. We'll have the test button, uh, say we're going to call it in JSON. And let's scroll down so we can see both the inputs and the outputs. So let's give it one, let's give it zero children to begin with. The benefit should be zero. And it is. Let's have one child. Fire. The benefit is the 20 pounds and 70 pence. Two, ch two children. And the result is 34 pounds and 40 pence, which is the sum of one child at 20 pounds and 70 pence plus additional child at 13 pounds and 70. Great. Now let's try three children and we get an answer. Is it the answer we thought we would get? The answer is yes, because what we're getting back is a floating point number. And computers are notoriously bad at uh, being able to represent floating point numbers uh, to, 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 to the accuracy we humans might expect. So this is as near as darn 48 pounds and 10 pence to 9 decimal, 10 or 12, 15 decimal places. If I try four children, uh, we get uh, 61 pounds and 80 cents. So it's, it's all working. If we wanted to use the mathematics for uh, 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 three children here, uh, if we wanted to print this out, we would round it to two decimal places, etc., etc. So this is just the representation of the data, which looks a little strange to our eyes. So if we, wa if we wanted to change the rules, an IT person could come into the rules here and affect the changes. Alternatively, if we have deployed to Decision Center, we can drill into the Decision Center environment. We can look at the rules. We can look at the uh, uh, rules and effect. So let's go have a look at our rules. There's our rules, first child and additional children. And a business person could open up this editor, make the business changes here, change the values, save the changes, and then deploy it back to the rule execution server for uh, execution in the runtime. And that's it. Uh, again, interesting things don't have to be complicated. So what we saw was taking the notion of a business rule, a business description of a business rule, and showing how that would manifest inside an ODM environment. I hope you found this useful, and I'm looking forward to making more of these videos in the future. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.